Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys a Bath & Body Works haul. I did place two separate hauls. The first one is like a small, very, very small, um, a little bit of a Halloween haul. Um, and I also picked up like a couple candles. And then the second haul um, is just all 75% off candles. I did place them both online. Um, yeah. So, and I mainly placed like one of the hauls just because I had a couple of rewards that were expiring and yeah, and then it was, the second haul was when my um, candles went to 75% off the ones I picked up. So yeah, it's not that big and um, I'm just going to jump right in. I'm actually going to do the candles at the end and do like the random little knickknack things first. Um, so first up, I did pick up some wallflowers. These were all 75% off. I mainly only get wallflowers when they're 75% off because as I say in like tons of my videos, I don't really um, actually feel like they work that good. Anyways, but I do feel like they work good enough to purchase them at 75% off because they come out to like a dollar and change. Anyways, first up, I did use up the Pink Apple Punch Wallflower. This is a really nice, um, fun pink color as well. This is just like, um, like, um, like a fruity, apple-y scent. It's, it is, um, not very real smelling. It's definitely like an artificial apple, but I mean, you know, why not? It's okay for being so cheap. I will take it. I also, um, picked up a pink Prosecco frosting wallflower. This, um, I have in the candle. It's, um, I'm still like currently working through it and I'm really enjoying it. So I thought, why not get it in the wallflower? I also grabbed a Sunshine Mimosa. I've never tried sun, sun, Sunshine Mimosa in the Wallflower um, or in any home fragrance, so I thought I would try it out. Um, it's like a citrusy scent. And then the last Wallflower I did pick up, this is in the scent Smoked Vanilla. Um, smoked Vanilla, this one will be like nice for the fall. It said Toasted Marshmallow Smoldering Woods vanilla and crystallized amber. So I'm assuming that this will smell something similar to a marshmallow fireside, maybe like a bit more like woodsy. I also grabbed, this is one of the items I did use my um, reward on. Sometimes I don't know what to get with my rewards. I generally get candle holders or single wicks and sometimes like wallflower plugs, but I also don't want to like amass like a huge collection. But I did pick up this cute little black cat. I just thought he would be like so perfect and cute. Um, I'm going to plug it in my bathroom for Halloween. And I don't really have like a collection of wallflower plugs or even like any seasonal ones. Um, so yeah, I just thought why not? I mean, I know in like old videos, I do but since living in New York I don't and it's a nightlight so I just thought he would just be so cute and so perfect and he was free so that's obviously always nice I also got um, this was like I had like the free travel size item up to like 750 I almost always get hand creams so I did pick up the poppy hand cream this is in the new um, like the new scent for them the packaging is really nice um, it's kind of generic, but it's also just like a nice generic, if that makes any sense. I've already tried the scent out on my skin, and I don't really like it. It's very nondescript, very like, eh, you know, <laughs> like, but I feel like it'd be like nice to like give as a gift to someone since it is very non-offensive. I don't really even know how to describe it, honestly. It's like a basic light floral scent. I don't personally like detect any particular scent notes in that scent. Um, anyways, okay, on to the exciting stuff, the candles. Um, so these were the two single wicks that I did use my rewards on. First up, I picked up a Harvest Pomegranate. I believe that this candle came out last year. If it wasn't the exact name, it was something similar. I know that Pomegranate was in the name. And I liked it last year, and for some strange reason, I never picked it up. Um, I don't know why, because I'm actually really enjoying it. It's like fruity, like tart, and it's definitely very like nice for the fall. Like apple isn't necessarily like a fall scent. This scent is more like fallish. It reminds me of um, like like a pie or something. I don't even know if like that makes any sense. I just, this is like a good transitional scent to me because it's like fruity and it's not like full on like pumpkin. Well, it's not pumpkin at all um, or anything like that, but it's just like tart and like, juicy and fruity and it's just good and I really like it it says um oh okay I guess the single wigs don't have the notes um I don't know if they never did or just because I don't really pay attention to the notes anyways yeah sorry that that's going off on a little bit of a tangent but I'm really excited to try this and I'm really happy I picked it up um and then the other single wig candle I did get is in the scent ghoul friend 
Um, this is like a floral scent. It's really actually not my very favorite scent, to be honest. I mainly got it for like the jar and I want it for like the decor. I love that they always make cool friend, like a pinkish purplish. I love the packaging. They almost always do really beautiful packaging for Halloween. So yeah, I definitely want to um decorate um my room, maybe even like the apartment. Yeah, so the wax is really um a pretty color. This is just like a floral scent. It's like um I'd say it's like a medium. It smells like it's gonna be a mediumish throw. I don't actually remember if I've ever truly burned a ghoul friend candle. I know I picked it up, I wanna say in like soap. I'm pretty sure I have picked it up in candles. I just don't know if I've ever actually burned it. Um, but yes, I am feeling festive. I know it's like way too soon for Halloween, but I love Halloween, so I am already getting excited. Okay, on to um, the candles. So yeah. First up, this was one of the ones that was 75% off. This is in the scent Blue Sky Breeze. Now, for the 75% off ones, I really wasn't that picky. I was just kind of like adding random ones that I thought that I would like into my cart. Um, so I figured that this would just be like a basic fresh scent, and that's exactly what it is. It's like a breezy, like outdoors kind of scent. Not like oceany, more like just like windy and laundry-ish. Um, yeah, very non nondescript, non-offensive. This is like the kind of scent I like to burn when I'm like cleaning my house. Um, I also did get a Salted Ocean Air. This candle I recall liking a couple years ago, maybe like four years ago. I want to say it came in like I think it was called Salt Flower, actually. Um, it was like a light purplish, and I was hoping that this would be like an exact repackage. I actually almost bought this candle when it was like the half off, when it was like 12, 25 or something like that, and I'm glad I waited. I do like the scent, but to me it's not the same scent as Salt Flower. I think that was the name. Please correct me if I'm wrong or if you actually know if that's the, the right name. It's similar to it, but it's not the exact same. Like without looking at the notes, I want to say that this definitely you do get like the salt note and it's a bit of like, like a laundry-ish, I guess like the ocean air. Um, although I get more like laundry more than ocean. Um, it says it has fresh ocean mist, warm summer winds, and beach musk. So I do like it, although I am really glad that I did chose, choose to wait for it to go 75% off instead of 50% because while I like it, I don't love it because I actually considered purchasing two of these and I'm glad I only got the one because I think one will be enough for me. Um, I'm just going to continue sticking with all the 75% off ones and then show you guys the couple um, new ones that I got with like the new fall collection. I also grabbed a honeysuckle and peach spritz. So this is like that all like that same collection. Um, I've never picked this up before. I'm not usually like the biggest fan of like peach scents. I like them and then always like halfway through the product I always like get bored of them. So yeah, it is very peachy. It reminds me of like a peach tea. Um, yeah, so glad to have it, glad to try it. But I could see myself to get sick of it, so. Definitely no regrets for being 75% off, but I definitely only need one. I got a black cherry seltzer. This candle has actually been intriguing me. I only picked it up in the wallflower this past semi-annual sale, only just because I couldn't justify spending like $12 on it when I feel like there's potentially other scents I would like more. But this is one of the ones I'm actually most excited for, especially for my 75% off haul. I really like it. It has like a strange after smell. It reminds me of soda, like a grape soda almost. Like a cherry and grape soda, I guess, since it's more like cherry. Although I swear I'm smelling grape. Um, I also like this like purple package. I think it's pretty. So yeah, it's like a fruity soda he sent to me. I don't know why that's what I'm getting, but yeah, I'm really excited for this one. Um, yeah. And then the last one in that collection is the pink lilac and vanilla candle. I've had this um, last year or the year before or maybe both. I said it before, this is like a baby powdery kind of a scent. It reminds me of, honestly of how like a baby doll smells. <laughs> like, um, I, don't, I don't know, it's like soft and somehow like cozy and comforting all at the same time. So yeah, I like this scent. Um, yeah, glad to have it again. Anyways, I, I don't know. I'm like filled with energy, so don't mind that I'm like, woohoo. And then the last candle I did get that was in the 75% off haul 
is the toasted pineapple marshmallow and again it's like weird because I smelled this candle in store in person at um SAS but I liked it but I didn't love it like so I didn't really want to like buy it for like $12.25 it was like well I like it but I don't know if I like love it enough to spend that much on it but now I'm really happy that I have it you definitely get like the combination of the two it's just it's an odd scent honestly like so it's gonna be hard to tell um and until I actually like burn it if I'm like really like going to enjoy it it's like a weird combination that somehow works um so yeah so I didn't want to get doubles of anything because they're basically all new candles that I haven't tried except for the pink by like and vanilla and that's more like a once a year for me um, there were a couple other 75% off ones that I saw, but I didn't want to like spend too, too much on like too much money and go like too much out of my budget. And I also just, I don't know, you know, like I really don't need any more candles, especially since like fall is coming up and I love fall anyways. And then the last couple items, these were just the $10 off. So I think they were like $14.50. Um, yes. Well, one was fourteen fifty and one was sixteen fifty, which is sad to say because I hate spending that much money on them. Anyways, um, first up, so I did get the coffee and whiskey candle. This scent really was interesting to me. I did smell this in store before, um, before, so I knew I liked it. It's so interesting. I don't know if my like scent like preferences are changing because I feel like I would never used to have like liked scents like this. It's hard to describe. I'm, I I don't even know how to describe it. It's like a cozy scent. It's kind of like a sexy scent. I feel like I get a little bit of like, like a masculine note almost. Um, but not necessarily like a cologne masculine, like a woodsy type kind of a masculine. So maybe that's like the whiskey. It says it has bold Irish whiskey, splash of vanilla, and a hint of coffee. I just get like mainly coffee. And I guess it's like toned down by like the whiskey. Um, I'm not sure. I'm really excited to try it though. This is not really like normal for me for like scents I tend to go for. But yeah, it is really interesting. And then the last candle I got is the pumpkin cinnamon bun. Um, packaging, so cute. Lid, absolutely adorable. I love this candle. I've gotten this in the past. Um, yeah, I'm not ready to go like full on pumpkin, like sweet cinnamon pumpkin and like, um, you know, pumpkin apple, like the classic, classic ones. But honestly, like I would like burn this anytime. I mean, I am going to save it for the fall, but it's pumpkin cinnamon bun. I mean, it just smells like a cinnamon bun basically. So I would burn this anytime. Um, but yes, very excited for that and very excited for fall. And then the very last item I did get, this I did use a um, reward on. So I did pick up the skull three wick candle holder. Um, this is cool I think I I love um like the the little like iridescent like the colors um yeah this was $14.95 I don't know what's happening with their candle holders lately but lately it's like all of their accessories are becoming like extremely expensive like where you used to get be able to get candle holders all the time with like your rewards and now like you don't really have that many options so this wasn't like my first pick but I do think that it will like be really nice to decorate with for Halloween so I did pick that up and that is everything I got for this haul. As always, thank you guys for watching. Bye.